Okay, let's discuss the ANS. Okay, so the ANS, which is the autonomic nervous system, the, a the autonomic nervous system, the ANS, okay, is what controls our internal organs. Blood vessels, heart, lungs, stomach, bladder. And so we can compare this system, the ANS, say, versus the somatic nervous system, which controls our skeletal muscles. And so let's do that. Let's compare these two systems and see how they differ and how they may be similar. So, for one, let's look at the targets. So, the targets of the ANS are your cardiac muscles, cardiac muscle, smooth muscles, and your glands. The target of the, the somatic, somatic nervous system is just your skeletal muscle. Another thing we compare is how neurons get to the target. So for the ANS system, if this is your spinal cord, right? So, spinal cord. In the ANS, you have one neuron, leaves from the lateral horn, exits through the ventral root, and stops in a ganglia called the autonomic ganglia. And the second one goes out to the target. And the first neuron in the pathway is myelinated. The second one is not. So the ANS uses a two neuron pathway while the somatic nervous system uses a single neuron pathway. So here you have the spinal cord you know, with the horn, dorsal horn, ventral horn. So, and then here they lead from the ventral horn to the ventral root and go straight out to the target. So these are, of course, myelinated. And it's a single neuron pathway from the CNS to the target. Here in the ANS, it's the two neuron pathway where the first neuron stops in, an area, in, a, in, a, in a ganglia called the autonomic ganglia. And the first neuron, which is, my, which is myelinated, is called the preganglionic neuron. The second one, which goes to the target, is called the postganglionic neuron. So it's a two neuron pathway. So, 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 so that's just that's different, different, different between both of them. One's two neuron, one's a one neuron pathway. Then the the neurotransmitters that are released. So the ANS uses acetylcholine, ACH, and norepinephrine as chemicals. This the somatic nervous system only uses ACH. Furthermore, the effects are this system can be either excitatory or inhibitory. Over here, this synapse is always, it's always excitatory. So the synapse here for the ANS can either be excitatory or inhibitory. For the somatic nervous system is always excitatory. It always activates the target. Here it may be inhibitory. And here in the ganglia, it's always excitatory as well. Okay, so. There goes the comparisons between the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. Let's next look at the two divisions of the ANS. So the ANS has two divisions. 
as a parasympathetic division and a sympathetic division, all right? So if we go with P versus S, the parasympathetic versus the sympathetic division, this is what happens. So, so for, in terms of the overall effect that they have, okay? This one is called your rest and digest division. It brings the body back down to, to baseline, more maintenance. This one, we call it your fight or flight division. Okay, so it gears the body up for emergencies, for an, an activity even, okay? So one is to get you pumped, one is to calm you back down. Power calms you, simple gears you up. In terms of how, where they emerge from in the CNS, the origins, points of origins, the para will use cranial nerves to exit, and sacral spinal nerves. Okay, so para uses cranial nerves and sacral spinal nerves, whereas the sympa uses thoracic and lumbar spinal nerves to exit the, 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 the CNS. Okay. Length of fibers. Okay. Here, Again, they both use two neuron pathways. So in the para division, the first neuron is long and the second one is short. So in para, you have a long pre and a short post. Of course, this is your autonomic ganglia there. And over here for the sympathetic division, you have a short pre and a long post. So it's different in fibers, okay? So short, this is short, long, sorry, long, short, long, short, and short, long fibers. And then the ganglia, where you find the ganglia, so, so ganglia location, where you find it in the body. So in the paradivision, this ganglia, we call it a terminal ganglia. It's called terminal ganglia, and it's close to or in the target, the terminal ganglia. In the thoracic, in the sympathetic one, the ganglia forms a chain of ganglia next to the, the spinal cord called the sympathetic chain ganglia next to the spinal cord, okay? By the way, a ganglia is just a collection of somas. So, so we got, when you have like this, this, your soma, your soma, all these somas together here form a, form a ganglia. That, that's how it's defined. And if these somas were together inside the CNS, it would call a nuclei. So a nuclei and ganglia are both referring to collections of somas. And it's nuclei, if it's, if it's in the CNS, and it's a ganglia if it's in the PNS, the term, okay? So since this is, this is in the PNS, we call it the ganglia. All right. All right, so that's it for para versus simple. All right, let's pause.